Investigation into the murder of April Millsap is taking new turns today as we learn new information in this case. Uh, the 14 year old Macomb County girl was found dead along a popular trail in the village of Armada on Thursday. 7 Action News investigator Jonathan Carlson is on the story live in Armada now with what he has learned about this today. Jonathan? Well, good evening. Police telling me that they are making progress in this case. It is not yet solved. Uh, and we're also learning some more details tonight that I want to share with you. Investigators have completely eliminated April Millsap's family and boyfriend as suspects in this investigation. They're no longer looking for that gray van everybody was talking about. That lead was determined to be a dead end. And the focus of the investigation is now on that motorcycle rider, a motorcycle of any color that may have been on the trail at the time of the murder. Police also previously released a sketch of a person of interest. Meanwhile, April's family is planning her Thursday visitation and Friday funeral as the village of Armada continued paying tribute to Millsap, classmates and their families painting a rock in a local park pink, just like the ribbons placed around town. I can't imagine what I would feel like if I had lost a granddaughter or something that's that age. It's horrific. I've got five beautiful granddaughters that live here in town. They, they can't even go out and play, you know, by themselves now, where we used to be able to do that. And now that's been taken away. Meanwhile, police tell me that they've gotten more than 500 tips in this investigation, and a lot of people around town here have been asking me, should they be worried or concerned about a random threat here in their village? Well, one police officer telling me today that people around here are not immune to that type of crime, and they're not immune to that type of person coming into their small village here and committing that type of crime. Back to you guys. I know, Jonathan, but last night we saw a sign up in that community that said, we will not live in fear, but we just heard that woman say she won't even let her kids walk outside. Are police telling people to walk in pairs or any kind of warnings for residents who live around there? Well, you know, people are worried. They are concerned around here. A lot of people coming up to us today asking, have you heard anything new? They want some sort of resolution. They want to know, are they safe? Is there a killer on the loose? What kind of progress are police making in this investigation? They want some answers, uh, but of course, they're going to have to be patient as police say they are working as hard as they can to try to catch whoever did this. All right.